Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Now for the latest on those outstanding defamation cases against Rudy Giuliani, attorney Sidney Powell, and Fox News. Two voting machine companies are suing, saying they were defamed by unsubstantiated claims that they contributed to widespread fraud in the 2020 presidential election. Yahoo Finance's contributor, Roger Parloff, wrote about this. Uh, his article is currently on our site, and he joins me now. Roger, good to see you. This is definitely a good read. Uh, you actually call this the mother of all defamation cases. Cases. Tell us why you're, you're, you're saying that. Uh, well, thank you, Alexis. Um, yeah, I can't, uh, I don't know of another instance in which um, so many media outlets have amplified over such a sustained period of time, such inherently implausible assertions that were um, so manifestly damaging to the reputations of identified businesses and individuals. And uh, so we've already got four mammoth lawsuits and more are apparently in the pipeline, and it seems like a unique situation. Can you break this down for us? It's a little bit complicated because there were just so many moving parts, but what were or are the, the allegations that, that Giuliani and this attorney Powell made about these uh, voting machine companies? Well, they're, they're really pretty fantastical. Um, the theory was that the election was stolen uh, using software that was uh, crafted in uh, Venezuela uh, approximately 16 years ago. Um, and this, uh, it allegedly had used algorithms that could weight votes. It would give uh, Biden votes more weight than Trump votes. It was supposed to have back doors. You could have somebody in Germany or in Barcelona uh, manipulating the election results. Um, and, uh, and then in addition, there was a piece of it that was strange, which was that, um, state, the state officials who had allowed this, uh, into their states, the, this software were allegedly in on the scam. And most of these officials or a lot of them were Republicans. And the theory was that they were taking kickbacks or that they were using this for quote unquote, election insurance, meaning that they they themselves could be reassured of election. It was, as she just said, the biggest crime of uh, in his of of in the nation's history. This these are really elaborate uh, allegations here that that you're uh, laying out for us. You know, I had a question though about their, their allegations. I'm not yeah, I'm not right. endorsing it. Not your allegations to be clear, absolutely, um, but. You know, I know I can understand why Giuliani and the and the attorney uh, Powell are are being sued here, but also Fox News, which is interesting. I mean, Fox News had these people on as guests. Are these companies saying that the personalities that had these guests on their shows within Fox also contributed to the defamation? Yeah, and um, you know, technically, um, as I'm sure you know. Uh, the uh, media organizations are in a different situation from, say, uh, you know, uh, int internet platforms like Twitter or uh, Facebook, which are essentially, because of Section 230 of uh, the Communications Decency Act, Decency Act, they're immune to what their you know, defamations by their users. Uh, so media organizations are in a different spot in terms of repeating defamations or even hosting them. But in you know, in fairness, uh, uh, Fox News has some very strong arguments uh, they've already made. Um, uh, in, uh, the most obvious, the most uh, is that look, these were the president's lawyers. This is what they were saying. This was unquestionably newsworthy. Uh, whether or not they eventually could um, substantiate their claims, so that will be, uh, I think, the, the crucial defense. And it's a pretty good one, except that uh, over time, um, you begin to wonder as more and more authorities come out, and actually it was really from the beginning authorities had come out and said, these uh, accusations aren't plausible, they aren't even coherent uh, technologically, 
And at some point, and they're obviously reputation damaging. So at some point, you would think that uh, uh, it's possible that uh, even fo that Fox would uh, have to begin to uh, shut these claims down. Yeah, they've they've certainly tried, right? They they asked for these. Um, to they be did after these cases. pretty much after they got the first you know demand letter from Smartmatic. I think it seems like. Uh, it looks like they these uh, uh, they stopped hosting these people. Roger, real quick before we let you go, what happened at the Capitol, the riot at the Capitol on January sixth? Is, is that relevant to these cases at all? Um, you know, in a very narrow sense, uh, no. In terms of um, you know uh, the damage done there did not damage Dominion per se or Smartmatic, but um, the 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 fact that these uh, the lethality of these uh, falsehoods uh, is relevant, and uh, because uh, Dominion claims, uh, for instance, that me that some of their employees had to go into hiding, at least one of their employees is bringing his own suit, um, and and actually uh, the uh, Giuliani on the morning of the Capitol insurrection was at his speech at the uh, Save America rally, was focused on Dominion. He was saying, we need to stop the uh, counting so that we can inspect Dominion machines. And so um, it's gonna be hard to keep uh, that out of people's minds, jurors and even judges uh, who will remember uh, what happened. Yeah, Roger Parloff, thanks so much. Uh, it's a great article and uh, we're gonna be watching as this thing unfolds.